This week in my Todoist video, I want to conclude my little mini series on calendars with one of my old favorite calendars called Fantastical. Now, I should point out right at the very beginning that Fantastical is only available on your Mac or iOS, your iPhone or your iPad. There's no Android, Windows or any other version of Fantastical as I know of just yet. Maybe they're planning something in the future, but that's not available right now. But I want to use Fantastical as my way of concluding this little mini series on calendars because Fantastical gives you the best of both worlds. You can create tasks within Fantastical that goes directly into your Todoist inbox. You can check off tasks in Fantastical that will check them automatically like Google Calendar. They will check them off in your Todoist. So you can have a one-stop shop for both your tasks and your events. Now personally that's not something that I particularly enjoy but I do know a lot of you guys out there have asked about it and so I thought I'll put together a video on the one that I do know that does all this which is fantastic. So that's what I'm going to show you today. Now before I go any further I would just like to say if you do get any value from this video then please help me by hitting that little like button below and if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet and you want to get all the latest tips, tricks and news on Todoist, then please subscribe to my channel. OK, now time for me to take you into my Todoist and show you how to set up Fantastical with Todoist. OK, so here is the Fantastical interface and it's pretty much like any other calendar, except that down here on the left hand side, you have a side menu bar and that's like a quick entry. You can have this is like a quick access to have a look at what's coming up on your specific days. So that's basically all it is. Now you can actually hide that. I discovered you can hide that by just hitting uh, option command S and you can reveal it by option command S. So it's actually very easy and bring it in and out. But the first thing you need to do if you're going to set up to do is the first thing you need to do is to add to do is to your account. So we're going to go into Fantastical's preferences. Click on here. I'm going to add an account. Now what you can see here when you click on add account, you can actually add a lot of different um, accounts. So if you're an Exchange user, an Office 365, Outlook, Yahoo, Frups, Meetup, Todoist and Zoom. And Zoom having being like the, the video conferencing darling at the moment, then you can actually add Zoom to your accounts. But I'm going to click on Todoist. That's going to ask me to authorize the account, which is now going to do, I hope. Yep, I'm going to allow that to authorize my account. And now Todoist is enabled. It comes in automatically enabled. Now, before we can actually really start using Todoist, we have to go into your calendars. Now, I'm not going to go into an in-depth review of Fantastical. This is a Todoist video. But essentially, what you have is calendar sets in Fantastical. And you can set up numerous sets to show different things. And for the purpose of this, I'm going to set up add Todoist to my main calendar. So I'm going to come down here. And you'll see that Todoist is right here. First of all, I obviously want the inbox. And now because of my time boxing system, I don't need to see next week, this month, next month, long term or anything like that because those items are not ever going to have a date and they're not and I want to have control over that. So the only thing I'm going to need to see are my purpose and objectives. Actually, they're not dated. Um, my inbox, of course, because I need to be able to collect items and this week. So that's that setup. That's done. And that should be all fine and dandy. So if I now go into my today view, you'll see that all my tasks for today are up here up at the top. And so if I go into my to do is you'll see that I've got these four items in here and these are now showing in my Fantastical. And what I can do is I can actually delete or check off these tasks like this and they're now checked off. Now the thing is there's a little bit of a delay in these appearing and disappearing in Todoist. But if I go over here, you'll see that actually quite quickly they disappear. Uh, they're still showing up in here, but it does take a little while for things to come through. Now they are actually also showing up here, as you see, uh, if we go back to my 27th. Um, so that you can see what you've actually done for the day, which is nice. And they're also showing up in the sidebar here. So you can see, oh, actually they've disappeared now, I think. Yeah. Um, let's go back to today. 
and you can see that they're showing up here as well so they're showing that I've now completed those tasks if I uncomplete that task that's now highlighting in this left hand margin if I complete it it's now done now that's not all that it can do that's pretty much what Google Calendar can do but what else you can do is you can actually add tasks so I can say call John so I'm calling John now that's going to set up as a calendar all day event but if I toggle this switch here it is now a task so on a day I can actually set it up for a due date it's coming into my inbox priority is none reminder is none so I can actually add a low medium high is you know the p1 p2 I can add this to any of my projects down here if I wish and I can do that. so I can just add the task so boom that task has now been added now I didn't add a date to that so it's not going to show up on here but if I go over here and it's not coming in yet there you go it's coming so I can actually add my tasks from my fantastical calendar so there you go that's really just a quick overview of how flexibits and fantastical can use now the thing is these days I do not use fantastical I've gone back to using iCal simply because I've been doing a lot of minimal minimalizing of my systems but for those of you who've been asking about is there a calendar app out there that can be used with uh, the add tasks and so on then you can do it with fantastical now I should point out that fantastical is only available with Mac OS and obviously on the iPhone as well works pretty much the same way on the iPhone the iPad but uh, but for those of you in the Apple ecosystem either iOS or Mac OS then this is actually a calendar that you may find quite interesting so there you go just remains for me now to wish you all a very very productive week. Thank you very much for watching this video. Now I have a question for you. Are you ready to go beyond the to-do list? Now the reason I ask that question is is because your to-do list is never going to do the work for you. Your to-do list is only ever going to show you what needs to be done and that often can cause a lot of anxiety, a lot of stress and a lot of overwhelm. What really helps you to get your work done and what really helps you to become much more productive is developing your own workflow. A workflow that you work from every single day that makes sure that you stay focused on the things that you have identified are the most important things to you. Now that could be your work, it could be your goals, it could be your family, it could be your personal life, it could be your self-development. Whatever that is, that is entirely personal to you. But the key is to develop the workflow so that you are consistently making small steps towards achieving the things that you want to achieve every single day. And that's why I have developed my Productivity Mastermind course creating your very own custom workflow. And I would love for you to check out the course. The course is available now, details of which are in the notes below, and I would just love to see you in this course. So please join me in the Productivity Mastermind course, developing your very own custom workflow, because this is a course that's gonna take you way beyond the to-do list so that you start to really move forward on the goals and the things that you have identified are important to you. Thank you very much.